are you ready to film your try on haul? Hello, welcome back to my channel. You see it in the title today, we are doing an online thrifting haul. Now, I do a lot of fashion content. Yes, I do a lot of fashion content. I love fashion, we all know this. And a lot of you guys do too, and you guys love when I do these videos, which makes me so happy because it allows me to continue the exploration of what's really worth it. Look, I think the most sustainable way to shop is to shop thrifting. I have done a video where I reviewed sustainable stores or sustainable brands and honestly like didn't have that much luck. I didn't really like a lot of it. And thrifting is honestly even more sustainable than buying from a sustainable brand because you're just buying clothes that already existed anyways and reusing them and upcycling them. And you know, I would love to be able to promote that and contribute to that, which is why I want to do this video. And it's something a lot of you guys have requested in the past, but there is a very valid reason I have never done a thrift video. So before I actually get into the haul, I want to kind of tell you a little story about the history of Molly Burke's thrifting experience. So I first got intrigued to go thrifting when I was about 16 years old. I started at a new school and the girlfriends that I made were very into thrifting and I wanted to be cool like my friends and do what they were doing and fit in. And so I decided to go thrifting with them. But a lot of thrift stores, not all, but a lot of thrift stores aren't like super well organized. Clothes are just kind of everywhere. And even if they are originally sectioned and organized, people come in and you know, thrift and just move stuff around. And so a lot of it tends to just kind of be like women's tops, women's bottom, men's tops, when, and, it, and then it's just kind of like all sizes are everywhere. And that's really hard for me because as somebody who loves to shop, loves fashion, but is blind, I do it all through feel. I walk around stores and I touch everything. And then I find things that I like based on the shape, the texture, the quality, and I bring it to a sighted person like my mom and say, could you find this in my size? And the reality is you don't have that option with thrifting. Things are like the size they are and that's it. And like maybe you can DIY it to fit if you really like it, but <laughs> I'm not good at DIYing either. And so that's not really on the table for me. And so really, unless it is in my size and fits, it's pretty tough. And the reality is even in a, in a store that has a variety of sizes, I'm very petite, I'm four foot 10 and a half. I'm a size zero or extra, extra small, extra small. And so it's hard to find things that fit me in general when I have a full store filled with sizes, let alone when I'm going to a place that has one size of each thing and everything scattered. And so for me, I went with my girlfriends a couple of times and every time I ended up feeling like incredibly discouraged because they would all go and run around and find these cute things and I would be going touching things one by one in the hopes of finding something that felt like my style and then show them only to find out that it wasn't in my size or a color that complemented my skin tone or whatever it was. I think a lot of people with disabilities who watch me will understand this sentiment, it might be a little bit more difficult if you don't have a disability to get where I'm coming from, but there's things in life when you have a disability that empower you and that make you forget you're disabled. For me, one of those things is downhill skiing. But then there's other things in life that starkly remind you of your disability and what you are not capable of doing or what is incredibly challenging for you to accomplish due to a number of things, including lack of accessibility or whatever. And so for me, DIYing is one of those things. It's one of those things that I'm like, oh my God, I could do that. That's so cute. That's so fun. And then I try to do it and I like fail miserably because it's either not accessible or I, you know, I can't cut or draw on straight lines and, and just like silly things like that. Or thrifting, like thrifting is just one of those things where I would go in excited like my friends and I would leave with them and they would have a bunch of stuff and I would like maybe buy one thing just to buy something and feel included and then I would never even wear it, which is actually more wasteful than not thrifting at all and leaving that item to be bought by somebody who would wear and love it. And so I kind of just got very discouraged and I had heard about ThreadUp around that time, which is an online thrift store. And I thought that sounded like an interesting option for me, but I didn't have a credit card at the time and I also didn't online shop at the time. I only only started online shopping for the first time really when I began my online shopping series, which wasn't even meant to be a series. It was meant to be one video where I tried online shopping for the first time, did a fun review and you guys loved it. So I kept doing it and it 
therefore became a series. But it really wasn't something I ever did because again, I shopped through Feel. And so even when I heard of ThreadUp, because they've been around for a long time, they've been around since like 2009. So I had heard of them at the time, but even then online shopping just wasn't something I partook in. So it didn't feel like a fit either. And so because I always ended up leaving feeling worse about myself, it wasn't something I wanted to willingly like put myself into the position to keep doing. So I kind of just felt like maybe that's something that isn't for me and that's okay. I can still enjoy fashion and I can still shop. I just can't enjoy thrifting and that's okay. And so I kind of would stick to stores that I knew sold my sizes and that I knew were well organized. Like the store layouts were well organized and like I just stayed in my lane you know? And when people started requesting I do thrift videos, to be honest, again, I just didn't want to put myself in the position to go to a store and like fail. And not only fail, but like fail publicly, fail on camera, have people watch me struggle to do something. That's hard to do. That's hard to put yourself in a vulnerable position knowing that you'll feel bad about yourself at the end and people will watch you feel bad about yourself. And so I never really wanted to do it. I did one video where I went like vintage shopping with Tan France, this video here, and I I think I briefly talked about it in that video, I can't remember. But yeah, so to be honest, like that's why when you guys request thrift hauls, I've never done it because it's just not something that makes me feel good. But in seeing an increasing amount of requests for it, and given that none of us are really going out physically shopping right now, I thought, you know what? It was like twigged in my mind. I was like, I remember hearing about ThreadUp when I was in high school. And so I reached out to them and said, hey, I really wanna try online thrifting for the first time and asked if they'd be willing to partner with me on this video and they were. So I want to say a huge thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. ThreadUp is the largest online thrift store with 40,000 brands, including brands you know and love like Lululemon, Topshop, Zara. You'll see a bunch of brands that you know and love in my haul. And I was really excited about all the things that I found. They add new product daily. So there's literally always more stuff being added that you can shop and find and love and add to your collection and your wardrobe. They do allow you to return just like any other online shopping. There's hits and misses when you get something in the mail that you didn't get to try on in store. So you can return what I love is they gave me the ability to save my sizes and that is something that was like a game changer compared to regular thrifting right like I said one of the problems with regular thrifting is finding sizes because I'm just like feeling around and hoping I land on something that feels like something I'd like and is my size. Whereas with them, I could save my sizes. And so every category I would click on, they would show me my sizes first. They would show me zeros, extra small, size five to six shoes, whatever I had saved as my size. So that was something that really made a difference for me. I was also able to favorite or heart items. And then they would all go to a separate section where all my favorite items were stored. And then I could go through with my mom and she could further describe things. The only negative that I would say I had experienced with ThreadUp is that they don't add thorough descriptions of product like regular online shopping does. If you watch a lot of my online shopping videos, you already know that it's important for me to be able to read the descriptions. And so that's something I would encourage ThreadUp to try to implement to be more accessible to those of us who are blind and visually impaired is being able to read product description is crucial for us to pick product online independently. So I will say I did need my mom's help for this video. I was able to kind of sort through some things on my own, but then I needed her to give me the final description and tell me like what it looked like and if she thought it looked like something I would wear. So my mom, Mama B, did have to give me some help with that. So I just wanna caution any other blind people who are interested in thrifting, but maybe have struggled with in-store thrifting and wanna try thread up, you might have to get some help with describing the items on the screen. And just for my viewers, you can use code Molly Burke when you check out and that gets you 30% off of your first Thread up order. So that is an additional 30% off of the already savings that you're getting. Definitely a great deal. The deal does expire though, so make sure to check out quick. Use it now. And it does only apply to orders in Canada and the United States. So I'm so, so sorry for my other followers, but yeah, it does only apply to Canada and the US. But for those of you in North America, check it out now. All right, without further ado, I will get into the try on portion of this haul. By the way, everything on Thread Up goes up to 90% off and you can get things that are new with tags. So that's pretty exciting. I did get one thing that was new with tags. I'm gonna start with the brand that I got the most from and that is Wild Fox. I grew up like in high school, all the cool YouTubers would wear Wild Fox. All the celebrities like Taylor Swift would wear Wild Fox and I really wanted Wild Fox, but Wild Fox is super expensive. And over the last few years, I have added about five Wild Fox pieces to my closet. However, I have only bought Wild Fox heavily discounted. Like if I 
can find. It's rare to find. It is very rare to find Wild Fox on sale. But I was able to find two different boutiques in LA that like, I just happened to walk in and had Wild Fox on sale. And so I love Wild Fox, but I just can't bring myself honestly to pay full price for them. So I immediately searched in the search bar for Wild Fox and a bunch of stuff popped up and I was very excited. So I got three items from Wild Fox in this haul and I got some real steals, especially the one I'm wearing right now. This was such a good deal. It is this like long sleeve. I don't know. It's like a light sweater slash a long sleeve top. I don't know what I would consider this, like either a light crew neck sweater or just like a plain long sleeve. What would you say, mom? It's just a, like a plain long sleeve, but lovely. You but call it a long one's... sleeve? Okay. Yeah. But it is like this fuzzy material. This one of the three has the most wear to it, but even then it's honestly not that much wear. Like this is the amount of wear I would get if I wore it and washed it a couple times. So probably even once. Exactly. So to get like such a heavy discount on it is kind of a steal. It says wine is my yoga, which is quite accurate. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, this is super yeah, I cute. I love that. I love it. And I got a pair of boots later in this haul that looks so cute with this sweater top, long sleeve top. Yeah. So I'll give you guys a better look at this right now. This is what the long sleeve top looks like when I'm standing. And it was 70% off. Originally retail price was $143. And I got this for $44. Not bad. The next Wild Fox item I got is the exact same style. It's like the same material. And this is a very loud, bold print, but we all know Molly is loud and bold, so nobody is surprised. It is so soft, you guys. It really is so soft. And I just think this is super cute, so I want to try it on for you now. This is the exact same as the Wine Is My Yoga Top, so it was the same retail price, $143, and I got it for $53, which is about 64% off retail, even though it's the same size and the same exact, like, long sleeve top as the other one. It makes sense to me that it's a bit more expensive because it is definitely less worn. It's much less worn than the other one, but I love them both, honestly. They're super soft, super comfortable. This one's very bold and fun. And I like it. I think it would look really cute with a pair of jeans too. Next and final Wild Fox item that I got is a crew neck sweatshirt. This is definitely a sweatshirt, not a long sleeve top. It is very oversized and it is my item that I got that is brand new with tags. It has the Wild Fox tag right here. I don't know what the right way is. Bah, bah, bah. And so this was definitely like on the pricey end. However, it's new with tags. So makes sense. <laughs> it is this fun like heathered material, very fuzzy and then it has this fun rainbow design on it that is tactile which i really like i think it's super cute with just a pair of leggings and booties in the winter adorable this is like such a nice bright pop for the winter months i got this sweater for 112 which was 23 percent off estimated retail it is brand new with tags so that's why it's a little bit on the pricier end but again it's a pricey brand to begin with which is why i'm always trying to score a deal on wild fox but yeah it's just a very oversized it is a size small instead of an extra small and it's intended to be oversized, so it's quite large on me, but I think, I still think it's cute. You can get away with it. Thank you. I got this mauve colored knit from American Eagle, and this was such a good price. I love the material, I love the brand, and I'm excited to see how this fits. I think this was between $12 and $15 because it was an additional sale on the website. So I really got this heavily discounted. I love this color. It's a very molly color. I really like the fit on it. It's comfortable. It's soft. There isn't like any pulls in the fabric or anything, which a knit like this can definitely easily get pulls. But there's no pulls in it. Honestly, like there's not that much wear. What do you think, Mom? Can no. you see anywhere? No, none. Yeah. No. It's crazy. Yeah, turn around. It's like no wear on this. Yeah, you're good. It's like new. Very cute. I got this zip up hoodie. I'm obsessed with this material. Like that rough material on the inside is like one of my favorite materials ever. I love it. And I'm obsessed with this color. This color is so stinking cute, isn't it? Beautiful. It's such like a bright, fun pop for, again, like going into the winter months. I mean, I live in LA, so like my winter months are not that cold, you know? So like this is a winter sweater for me, but I feel like I love still having this pop of color in the winter. And let's be honest, all I'm wearing in my life right now is like hoodies, sweatpants, leggings, sweatshirts. So never hurts to add another one. Originally retail at 48 and I got it for $18, which is quite a steal for this sweater to be honest. I really love the material. I like these details. I love the brand Airy, so I'm happy with this find. 
Okay, this next item, I was so stinking excited about this. This denim skirt is so stinking cute because it has like some distressing on it. There's like some distressing on the thigh. The back pocket is super cute. It's like falling off on purpose. I find it very hard to find denim skirts that suit my body. And I think this one's gonna be perfect. This denim skirt was 161 and I got it for $28. So definitely a steal. I love a good distressed denim. I ordered this in a two even though I'm a zero so I knew the waist would be like you know slightly loose but I don't think it looks bad. I like it. I you know, it's cute that way. I like it and if I wanted to I can always belt it but it leaves me room to like tuck something in and like have it coming over the edge of the skirt. What do you think? Do you think it looks nice mom? It's, it's lovely. It's the nicest denim skirt you've ever got. I have struggled to find a denim skirt for like four years now. Four years. <laughs> I've been on the hunt for a denim skirt and I feel like this is it. This is is the one like it's so cute molly burke's been looking for a denim skirt i've always found denim skirts not that flattering on me and i feel like this one works you guys will have to let me know what you think maybe you don't think it works i like it you like it yeah i trust i trust mama b she never she never lies to me no. so if she says it looks cute yeah. i believe it looks cute you guys let me know your thoughts but i'm really happy with this find this was a steal next clothing item second last clothing item and then we have shoes and accessories is this this is from j crew outlet and again another great price i like the material again it's like this it's rough. Just very nice and rough. Textured, it's yeah, rough. It's lovely, I yeah. like really love the material. Mm. There's like cute detailing on the shoulder. It's simple, but sometimes Molly needs some simplicity because I don't have much of it in my life. It was originally $60 and I got it for like just over $10, which is pretty cray cray. Yeah, I think this will actually look really good on you, Mom. Yeah. So I might, I might, might pass this on over to you. Okay. Because I feel like this would uh, go well in your closet. Thank you, Molly. Now my final clothing item was my biggest ticket item. This item was pricey, but I was just very curious about this brand and that is For Love and Lemons. I have heard so much about this brand. They are a very pricey brand. So I, I was like, you know, I've never tried them. Why don't I give it a go? So I searched in the search bar and I found in my size this romper. Rompers are always a little risky for me as a petite girl, specifically given I'm like basically have zero torso. There's this other YouTuber, Carrie Dayton, who does a lot of fashion content and she's like the opposite. She always talks about how she has the longest torso ever. I have the shortest torso ever. I have no torso. So I'm not gonna lie, rompers and jumpsuits are always a little bit risky for me, but I thought I'd give it a try. And it is, yeah, it's really cute. I feel like you could wear this in the fall or spring with like a stiletto and bare legs, or you could wear it in the winter with tights and boots. So I feel like it's quite a diverse piece. It has these big fun sleeves, which I should not wear this when I'm eating a dinner because <laughs> I will being the blind girl I am just dip it right in there but there's a lot of fun details so I'm excited to try this on this piece was for love and lemons pricing which was 214 and I got it 20% off at 170 I would never pay 214 for this frankly for me personally it, this fabric wrinkles like that so that's like one thing to consider when purchasing a piece like this. Also, I don't know how to deal with this. Like my bra, even though it's nude for my skin tone, you know, it's still gonna be on full display. So I'm not sure how to cope with that. But it's good, it looks good. I think because the netting is that color, it looks fine. Okay, well, you guys let me know. You guys let me know what you think. And it is like- Super cute in you though. I know, it is super cute. I do love it, I do love it. It's a high upkeep piece. It's one of those pieces, you know, a true cocktail party piece where you only wear it when you're standing in heels all night. So you, you don't sit to get the butt wrinkle, you know? You're just simply standing with cocktail in hand and then you look cute all night long. I do think it's a really versatile piece in terms of like different ways that you can dress it, which is really nice to have in your closet always. For my fellow short girls, I do have a little bit of the torso problem where it's like it would fit better if I was like 5'1", you know? There's just like that little bit of extra shoulder that kind of makes the body like just, if you see there, kind of like wrinkle slightly on the sides but given all that i still think it's a really fun cute piece so you know recognizing that there's flaws to an item like this it's like that's why i would never buy it full price you know what i mean like i if i'm gonna buy a piece that wrinkles and that doesn't fit me like 
quite perfectly, I'm not spending $215 almost on it. I would much rather get a discount. So I feel happy that my first for Love and Lemons large expense came at a discount from ThreadUp instead of buying it like full price on the website. Okay, remember how at the beginning of this video I said that there was a pair of shoes that looked really cute with this top? Yes, it is time. We have gotten there. I'm so stoked, okay? So we do here in LA get quite a bit of rain in the winters. Last winter was quite dry, but the winter before was like rain every single day. So rain boots are definitely a necessity to have in your closet if you live in LA. And I do have a really cute pair of low ankle ones, but I don't have any high rain boots until now. Are these not so molly? Yes, these are so molly. These are a pair of coach rain boots, which are in a size five, which is rare to find a size five foot and they fit my foot perfectly. Very exciting. These rain boots cost true coach pricing $286 retail and I got them for $70 which is about 76% off retail price and I think they're so cute. I love them so much. I think they're such a fun top. They're very molly vibes, very loud and fun and I think it looks great with this top, right? What an outfit. Good rainy day vibe right here. Final item of this haul is this pair of sunglasses. These sunglasses were from J. Crew originally. They're just a very classic shape, a very classic pattern of like the tortoise shell, which, you know, classic is, I would say, J. Crew in a nutshell, so it makes total sense. And these were a really good price given that there's not like, you know, like, I don't know, there's not much wear to them. Like, they're not crooked. There's nothing wrong with them. They're a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. But yeah, they were like around $60 retail and I got them for $28 and there's just nothing wrong with them. They even came with this little pouch. So I'm really happy about that. I mean, always, always happy to have another pair of sunglasses in my wardrobe to protect my eyes, especially a classic looking pair like this that is a no brainer. It'll go with anything. So excited to add that to my collection. They have everything on there. They have maternity, which I was like, yes, I don't plan to ever be pregnant, but if I get pregnant one day, I will definitely be doing maternity wear through thrifting on ThreadUp because why spend a ton of money getting clothes that are only gonna fit for a couple of months? So I really appreciated that they have maternity and kids. Kids grow so quick. Quickly. Again, like buying constantly new full price clothing for kids that are just growing like weeds, it makes sense just to thrift it. And given none of us want to leave our house right now and none of us should be leaving our house right now, I think if you want to continue to thrift and purchase new items as we change seasons, heading to ThreadUp is a good option. Thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video and don't forget to get your extra 30% off at checkout for your first order by using code Molly Burke. If you want more Molly in your life, you can click up here to check out the review I did a while back of sustainable clothing brands or you can click up here for one of my most recent videos. Thank you guys for sticking with me and I will see you next time.